Today, state lawmakers will return to the Capitol for a new special session. Republicans agreed to call themselves back and then introduce new bills. And Democrats are protesting this decision. Some of them are worried that Republicans, who have the majority, will try to pass legislation that would weaken the power of fellow Democrat and Governor-elect Roy Cooper, who's set to take the oath of office in just a few weeks. Bethany Moore has been following all of these developments now from the Capitol. She is live in Raleigh this morning. Bethany, what's going on? Good morning. There's a lot of things going on here. This all began earlier this week whenever lawmakers met up to discuss funding for hurricane and wildfire relief. But once that wrapped up, then the Republicans got enough signatures to hold a special session. Now, the big concern among Democrats, it's over legislation that would weaken the governor's power to appoint cabinet members. That would apply to incoming Governor Roy Cooper. Republican lawmakers say they still need to look over and discuss the proposals in detail. The bills could be amended. Uh, it's not meant as any disrespect to the uh, governor-elect. I mean, what we're trying to do is structure state government in such a way that we can advance the policies that we've been working on for the last few years. So there is some question about the legality or the constitutionality of the session. And I, I think that's legitimate, and that's why all the Democrats, uh, with the exception of two, I think, protested this session. Republicans are also looking at changes to election laws. That bill would merge the state board of elections with the state ethics commission. It would be a new eight member board evenly split between Democrats and Republicans. Current law gives the governor's party a majority on the elections boards. Now lawmakers are set to discuss all this later on this morning, but they haven't taken any votes yet. And it's unclear just how much support these bills have. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bethany Moore, WXII 12 News.